I'm Jay Station, the shittiest YouTuber on the website, the shittiest person on the website. You either know him from the videos I made last year talking about some of his fucked up shit, or you just know him from the absolutely horrible content that he produces. He's the guy that does only those 3 a.m. things where he exploits a celebrity's death for money. Calling Mac Miller at 3 a.m., calling Etika at 3 a.m., calling XX Tentacion at 3 a.m. He said my dick was massive and said to subscribe. Terrible, terrible garbage. He looks like if a hemorrhoid was brought to life, and he sounds like if someone was shoving nails in your ears. He says the word guys a million times per video to the point where it makes it seem like that word has no meaning anymore. He's just this fucking YouTuber pinworm, and I know you watch these videos, Jason, and I know you're too fucking stupid to spell pinworm to Google what that is yourself, so I'll tell you. The pinworms are the parasites that live in your asshole, usually when you're a baby and they make it super itchy. That's what you are, a shit-eating parasite. But what he's done this time has just gone way too far. He's faked his girlfriend's death for views and sympathy. And he uses it just to promote a second channel. And it's not like he makes it a skitter, let, lets the audience know it's fake. He tries to convince them that the girl they liked in his videos is dead. Just fucking brutalized by a drunk driver, rotting six feet in the ground now because of it. And all she wanted was a million subscribers on a second channel. And that's all it's used for, to pro promote the second channel and make people, you know feel like they have to to support her memory. He keeps saying, all she wants is a million subscribers on this second channel, it's all she wanted, and then he links the channel. It's fucking disgusting, really. And it's not like this is the only fucked up thing he's done recently. For example, he made this video here. Buying a slave off the dark web. Jason, are you fucking kidding me? Also, I didn't know this until today, but a YouTuber named Mimi made this video here, and in it she talks about when, when Jason flew from Canada to Texas to hang out with a minor and spend the night alone with her. And Mimi conducted an interview with that girl and she said she stayed awake all night just because she was paranoid about G what Jason might try. That's your fucking legacy, Jason. You fly thousands of miles to hang out with a minor who is afraid of you and feels like you're such a weirdo you might try something when you're alone. But anyway, before we get too sidetracked with his track record of terrible, awful, deplorable shit. Let's show you his recent one. Here's a video where he announces his girlfriend's death. What's up, guys? I never wanted to make a video like this, ever. Last night around 11 p.m., I got a call from her parents telling me what happened. As you guys probably know, we had a channel together called Dream Team. We just hit 300,000 subscribers. Her dream was just to get a million subscribers and we were so close to doing that, guys. After talking with her parents, we both agreed that I should post the remainder videos that we filmed for that channel on that channel. It was her, it was her dream to get a million subscribers, so out of respect for her, because I know that's what she would want, I'm going to post those videos there. Ah uh, yes, nothing sounds more genuine when announcing someone's death, quite like constantly promoting a fucking YouTube channel. And of course, like all loving and good parents, less than 24 hours after their child's death, they want their YouTube channel to pop the fuck off, baby. Let's get some clout on that YouTube channel. Their child is dead. Can we get a million subscribers? Oh, of course, that sounds just like what a parent would do in their mourning. Yeah, while they're griefing, I'm sure they gave this limp dick loser permission to start posting videos on that channel. In fact, they probably just encouraged it. I'm honestly surprised Jason doesn't have video filming their parents crying. Of course, this is all fake, but in the event that it was real, I'd be surprised if Jason didn't try and film the shit out of it to exploit that. This shit is incredibly fake. Yeah, I was half expecting her to pop out of that fucking Egyptian sarcophagus behind him. But that didn't happen because he's trying to play it off as something real to try and grow that channel through sympathy like this. Now, I didn't want to talk about this until it was 100% confirmed beyond a shadow of a doubt to be faked, which it has. But I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the girl did really quit and leave Jason behind because he's apparently so insufferable and creepy. By the way, Jason, when I made those two videos about you last year, your former friends and some of the people you still work with reached out to me on Instagram to shit on you and try and expose you. But I just didn't care enough about you as a person to read through everything they sent, but it looks like not even your friends like you. But you are apparently a big piece of shit in the real world, so I do think she probably quit and he came up with this narrative to spin this, to gain subscribers on that channel and just get some quick views out of it. 
And now, when I said it's been confirmed beyond a shadow of doubt to be faked, I'll go into detail on what I mean. A YouTuber named Muda from Some Ordinary Gamers did extensive research on the subject because he felt genuinely bad for Jason in this situation because he believed it. But he wanted to confirm it because there was not a lot to go on. So he did a ton of research. In a follow-up video that I'm J Station posted, he visited the exact spot that she allegedly perished in the car accident. Muda and a bunch of other internet detectives were able to find exactly what road that was, and there was nothing in the reports that indicate that any fatal drunk driving accident had occurred during the time period. And to go even a step further, Muda contacted the fucking police department of the area to just do this all-encompassing once and for all, is it real, is it fake? He calls the police department and he films the conversation with the officer with the officer's consent, and the officer confirms once and for all that no one by the name of Alexia had perished in a drunk driving accident or in general. There was only one case with anyone named Alexia and it wasn't fatal or anything like that or even remotely associated with a drunk driving accident. So I think it's safe to say that it is a faked stunt for views and subscribers. Also, I don't like saying J Station Jason faked his girlfriend's death because that implies he put effort into the ruse, which he absolutely did not. He made a crying video that was just super shitty. He also didn't know where tears come from because he kept wiping his eyebrows as if his fucking eyebrows were leaking. It was terrible and he put no effort into it. When you say fake your girlfriend's death, I was expecting some Looney Tunes shit. Like, Jason tricked her into going into a house to get like $5,000 from the counter. But then Jason on the outside had like this fucking cartoon plunger and he pushes it and the house blows up. That would be faking her death. What he did was just lie about her dying. That's significantly less effort and also shittier. It's so fucking terrible, and the whole thing is pathetic. Somehow Jason is constantly able to find new ways of being pitiful, and even to a certain extent I kind of feel bad for him because he is so infected by his own ego that he will stoop to low levels that we've never seen before on this platform. Just such a sad, sad man, really. That's about it. See ya.